All right, welcome back. Let's talk about the interview itself. In the proverbial uh, context of everything, you have four seconds to make a good first impression. Four, ten, whatever it is. But um, you're going to make a first impression right off. So here's what I'm going to recommend to you. Make sure you take a bath. Make sure your shoes are signed. Make sure your shirt is pressed. Whatever you're wearing, no wrinkles. And be the first one to smile. Be the first one to offer a handshake. The, and when you uh, offer a handshake, I'm personally, I'm the kind of person, make it a firm grip. You can, uh, if it's a lady you're interviewing with, you can squeeze too hard, but squeeze just hard enough that what you're doing in combination with your smile and a firm handshake, you are exuding confidence. That's one of the things that is going to uh, offer a good first impression. Let them offer you uh, where to sit. Don't you ass- don't assume you know where to sit, but be casual, but yet be very professional. I'm going to recommend that if you're at a table or wherever you are, lean forward. Don't slouch back, but leaning forward projects the image you're very interested in. The interview itself, many interviewers are very uncomfortable. They don't uh, know exactly what to ask, but they're going through somewhat of a routine. uh, The interview frequently lasts 10 to 15 minutes, and it's some of the very routine questions, some of which you're going to say, well, I already gave you that information on the application. But uh, one of the things that uh, <clears throat> they're going to ask you is, or going to learn from the interview, just how comfortable you are, your uh, the, the projection that you make by the clothes you make. Here's one thing that <clears throat> can be very important. The person with whom you're interviewing will have their own style. I personally like to maintain eye contact with the person with whom I'm interviewing. However, I know there's some cultures, some people who don't like for you to maintain eye contact. They don't like to maintain eye contact. Watch them and learn what they do. There's a technique called mirroring and matching. That is, if this person is a fast talker and they've got the hands moving and so forth, match that as much as you feel comfortable in the, the matching and mirroring. If the person is a slow talker and frequently looks off and just wants to know, well, tell me a little bit about your day and, you know, tell me about the frills and flowers and so forth. Just match that person and talk with them about stuff that you may wonder, what does this have to do with a job? But you're matching that person's personality, their disposition, and they, the person with whom you're interviewing, will feel more comfortable as you match their style. So you're adapting to that person. You've already presented the visual image that I know how this company dresses. I know what the dress decorum expectation is. I am matching that in the interview. Here's the other thing. Um, The interviewer will uh, frequently ask you questions of the majority of which will be uh, what we call closed in questions. That is, do you like me? The answer is yes or no, as opposed to why do you like me? That is an open-ended question. So if the interviewer asks you a situational question and uh, you're just uncertain how to respond to it, be very honest and candid with that person. You say, you know, I'm just not sure how I would respond to that. It is appropriate to have a dialogue with the interviewer and you may ask the question. I'm just curious, how would you respond to that? What you're doing with that question is you're learning about the company. You're learning about that company's culture. I'm going to encourage you, never leave an interview without interviewing the interviewer. What I mean by that is learn the company. You want to know the culture. You want to know everything you can possibly know in the few minutes you're with them about the company. The other thing that uh, is going to do is going to project a very positive image that you're interested in this company. You genuinely want to know. But I can almost promise you, and you know it intuitively, that there is a company culture that you like. There's a company culture you do not like. 
So I'm going to encourage you. It's going to be very difficult to do to turn down a job if you think, gosh, man, that's a lot of money. And um, I just, uh, it's hard for me to turn this down. I don't know if I've ever been offered another job. But here's what, uh, what you need to consider. What if you are in an environment, that is the culture, with people who don't value you, and after a period of time you say, man, I just... I really don't like even working at this company. I like the paycheck, but I don't. I just everything is wrong about it. Don't wait until then to <clears throat> make that decision. You, you're six months into it, and <clears throat> then you determine that no, this is not right. Make the decision up front. <clears throat> know what it is you're looking for, and you have the right to tell that interviewer at the time of the interview. I just don't think this is the right company for me. I just don't think uh, you would be as happy with me as, as maybe you would be with somebody else. You may think that is something that is just so far uh, offbeat that you couldn't do it, but you're being very honest with the interviewer, that you know exactly what you're looking for, you have the confidence that you will find the right company, the right job, even if you have to accept a little bit less money if you're with the right company, with the right culture, uh, you would be more willing to accept that if you have to accept a lower pay than you would a higher pay uh, with a company that you don't like. Because if you don't like the company, it's going to be very difficult to work for them. So some things for you to consider. Let's talk in our final session about the post interview. And um, you present that uh, very positive image during the interview and um, you're the one that is in control by virtue of the confidence you are projecting. And my guess is, again, you're going to be in the top 5% that um, you are presenting that very positive image. So let's go, and the best of luck to you. We look forward to talking with you on the next interview uh, session.